Our next talk is about stereotypes and how they limit our knowledge. Please welcome Antoni Hickey to the stage. Posso ir? Tá falando? Tá ouvindo já? Hello everyone. Uh, today I have a question for you all. When I say the word Egypt, what do you think about? Sorry, when I say the word Africa, what do you think about? Maybe a very big savanna with wild animals like elephants, giraffes, or lions. Or maybe a very small and poor village in the need of help of wealthier people. And when I say the word Egypt, what do you think about? Maybe the very, very tall pyramids, or maybe the Egyptian religion, or maybe those uh, scary mummies. Well, these are all stereotypes. A stereotype, according to the, to the University of Oxford, is a widely held but fixed and oversimplified image or idea that we have about a certain group of people or something or somewhere. In other words, it's a fixed image that we have about a certain group of people, someone or somewhere, based on information that we haven't verified, which is not necessarily true. Uh, and did you know that accepting stereotypes and just believing in them is the best way to not learn anything about nothing at all? That happens because they limit your knowledge and don't let you see the real ro world as it is. I wanted to share a personal experience with you all. Before I studied here at Fed, I lived here in San Jose, uh, I used to live in England, which is not so close. And while I lived there, I lived in a nice city, made uh, many good friends, and studied in a very nice school. But something that happened there and bothered me a lot was the fact that many kids and even some adults would ask me questions like, are there monkeys in the streets of Sao Paulo, if they knew about Sao Paulo? Or do you live in the middle of the jungle? Or even questions like, do smartphones work over there? When people told me those things or asked me those things, I would always be polite and explain to them uh, what here is like, that uh, there are no monkeys in Sao Paulo, only at zoos, that I live in one of the largest cities ever I used to live, and that smartphones work perfectly here in Brazil. People actually thought that Brazil was only soccer, samba, and the Amazon rainforest. By the way, talking about soccer, there was this other stereotype too. Uh, you must be a god at soccer. You must be really good at soccer, right? Since you're Brazilian and all Brazilian boys are good at soccer. When people told me this stereotype in particular, I would be puzzled because, okay, I'm not good at soccer, but I like soccer. So am I a failure in the system? I don't know. Uh, this stereotype shows us that stereotypes are not only negative and can pass a misleading positive information about something or fake positive information about something. In that case, that every Brazilian boy is really good at soccer. I guess all I'm trying to say is that stereotypes, apart from being extremely rude sometimes, they limit your knowledge and don't let you see the real ro world as it is. So don't just accept them. Keep on learning, keep on researching. Thank you very much. <laughs>